welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to bleach my hair, finally. I literally wanted pink hair since I was like 15 or 16 and I was never allowed to. And then I turned 18 and I was allowed to because I was an adult and I could do what I wanted. But then I studied uh, to become a kindergarten teacher and I was in kindergarten classes all the time and I was not allowed to because apparently the kids will like like draw their hair but right now we're in quarantine and I'm literally at home for like probably a few more weeks uh, or months and so I thought what's the better time than now literally like the same thought process as everyone who's bleaching or dyeing their hair right now um, so the dye has not arrived yet but the bleach has uh, so I decided to be blonde uh, until the dye arrives if it's ugly it doesn't matter because I'm home and I will be dyeing it pink in like a week so uh, I have two sisters here that will help me. Uh, but first, let's unbox my products. Ooh, and it's the thing that we need the last. The thing that will make sure my hair is not yellow. It's like the purple anti-yellow shampoo. I think I was supposed to like buy a toner, but I thought this was toner. But whatever, it will do the job because I'm gonna go pink anyway afterwards. <laughs> bleach powder this is the most exciting this is what's going to make me blonde and the last product we have the developer 30 volume because that's what Brett Mondo said if you're watching this bread hi <laughs> I hope this is not a fail so here are the three now we're going to mix the actual bleach. You have to use 25 grams of bleaching powder. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> okay, we're at 25. And then you have to mix that with uh, 50 milliliters of developer. Also, if anyone is wondering why my hair is greasy, it's because you're not supposed to wash your hair for like several days before you bleach it because it will like be stronger and like the oils will protect your hair and your scalp. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now we mix it. Okay. Okay, a few important things is, so as I said, don't wash your hair for at least a few days. Um, then do brush your hair through because if you have like knots or anything, you will have spotting. Wear gloves because you don't want to like burn your hands. And also a tip, I think this is usually, people do this if they dyed their hair and they don't want to have like spotting on their head. They use some Vaseline like on their hairline, but I'm still going to do that just to protect my hair face a little bit and my like neckline oh yeah and you also have to section it in four parts so you have to do the middle part and then from the top of your head to the back of your ear and then you have like the four sections also this is not a tutorial this is my first time doing it myself so like don't blame me don't try this at home uh, except I mean... fucking try it because whatever <laughs> okay now we do the middle part <laughs> No, film on top so they can see there is like a cross that I have four sections. Okay. Okay, it's like this. It's very good. I think it's not perfect, but it's fine. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put some Vaseline like at my hairline to protect my scalp, my skin. Also, it's very important apparently that, well, it's logical, that you don't get it in your eyes because it will burn. And Just it a will little. be bad. Yeah, so like, don't do that. It's fine if you have to show. Okay. Yeah. Don't fumble. Let's get started. Okay, so 
next up is it's important that you don't start at your roots because they will process faster because of the heat of your scalp. So you take uh, one section in the back, or two because I have two sisters here, um, and you just start doing layer by layer. So now the bleach is in Woo! everywhere except for the roots. So we're going to wait 10 to 15 minutes. We're just gonna watch a YouTube video or something. And then uh, do the roots and then wait for like another half hour. So we're going to do the roots now. So uh, we have enough bleach in it right now. It's already really blonde, so that's cool. Now we're going to put some water in this uh, bag because it needs to be moist. And then put that over my head for like a, a half hour. And now we wait. Okay, you guys, it would almost be time to uh, rinse it out, but I'm just gonna put some more water in there because Brett Mondo said you don't want the bleach to dry out, you want it to be like real moist. That's why we put the bag over there and uh, the water in there. I'm just gonna take off the bag right now. So I have this water spray. Also another little test that you can do is like pull on a little str uh, strand of hair and it doesn't feel very damaged. It still feels pretty strong. So I can leave it on a little bit longer. Oh shit, I forgot my gloves. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Looking very cute. And now quickly gonna wash my hands because I forgot to put on gloves. Okay, for update, uh, it doesn't really burn that much. Uh, I feel it, it burns a little bit, um, but it's very bearable and it's okay. Uh, there's a mess here right now, so I'm going to clean that up and then afterwards I'm gonna rinse it out. Okay, so we're now going to take it off. You can do the honors. Yeah, you're like dark blonde now. Now I'm gonna go shower and wash it with this shampoo, which oh. is like for uh, colored hair, for blonde hair. Uh, and then we're going to uh, blow dry it and see how it looks and then we're going to wash it again with the purple shampoo. Okay, so I just showered and I washed it with normal shampoo so it's gonna be yellow but I first wanted to uh, not do the purple shamp shampoo yet to see if we have to bleach another round. Here you can already see uh, one little blonde strand. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm blonde. Lol. So, okay, I'm going to uh, wash it again with the purple shampoo uh, and I'm probably going to need another uh, bleaching round but I'm not going to do that today because it's too damaging for your hair. Um, so right now I'm going to um, wash it again with the purple shampoo and then blow dry it and then that's enough for today and then in a few days I'm going to bleach it again so this is going to be like lighter as well. No, it's different on camera than in real life but whatever. Okay, so the purple shampoo is in now. I'm gonna leave it in for like five minutes and then uh, do the whole uh, like purple shampoo again because it said that if you do it twice, it works the best and it's, it was pretty orange. Um, and then we're going to see how it looks. And I'm gonna show you too. Okay, you guys, it's almost time for the big reveal. Uh, I've seen it already. Um, it's dry and I'm really happy with it. I know I'm not gonna keep it uh, blonde very long because I'm gonna dye it pink, uh, so this is only temporary. The dye has not arrived yet, um, so for now I'm gonna enjoy being blonde for a little bit. Okay, so, hope you guys are ready for the big reveal. One, two, three. I'm blonde! 
I personally really like it. Um, it did turn out a little bit lighter at the roots than the rest because the roots process faster and we did put on the bleach at the roots later, at the roots later but uh, it was still a little bit too soon but I don't mind. Um, and I washed it a few times with the purple shampoo. Uh, and yeah, like it's kind of yellowish but I don't mind, it's okay. I'm not gonna bleach it another time because it will be very damaging and I'm gonna dye it pink anyway in like a week or something. So for now I'm very happy with it. Um, and this is what I look like now. It doesn't feel damaged, uh, it's a little bit dry. So I'm gonna go do a hair mask with my sister later tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you can already look forward to the dyeing my hair pink video if you like this kind of content. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below if you want to. And um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hi guys, before you go, don't leave yet. Uh, I want to show you like the hair mask that I did. Uh, it was super easy. I just mashed one ripe avocado, one ripe banana and one tablespoon of olive oil together and then I put it all over my head um, and then I let it rest, let it sit for a bit and now I'm gonna go wash it up. Ooh, imagine if I had green hair. A look. Let's go wash it out and see how it looks. Okay, so um, I washed the avocado out and I wash my hair again with the purple shampoo thing. It's time for the big reveal part, like 300,000 because I've done so many reveals, reveals in this video. Um, here we go. Yeah, uh, it still looks pretty much the same. <laughs> I don't necessarily know if it's, if it's like much softer, but uh, like obviously bleaching dries out and damages your hair. I'm not gonna blow dry it now because I usually never do that. Uh, I'm just gonna let it air dry. And that's it for this video. That's it. This is really it. This is really the end of this video. Um, you're gonna see how like, the end result looks on my Instagram and in my next video. In any case, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.